Every now and then, a child comes along who makes me believe in the existence of Satan. Episode six is called Killer Carl because it's about the youngest son, Carl, and his discipline problems at school. What did you do? Nothing. Carl! They're going to expel him, and he's worried that if he's uh, if he changes his behavior, he doesn't quite know how he'll be able to hurt people without getting in trouble. And he wants to hurt people on a daily basis to get rid of his aggression. So it's the whole family worried about him being expelled from school. And it's also a satirical way that we try and comment upon, you know, no child should be left behind. Because in this case, Carl should probably be left behind. He needs you to show up for him at parents' night. Hell no. I won't go. One of the things we try and do with Frank is comment about how we actually act in our families and towards our children and showing the extremes of it to say, you know, you might want to behave a little bit differently. It's just one more example of how he doesn't really show the kind of care and concern for them that they wish they had from their father. So why don't you tell me how you cheat? I don't cheat. I think the struggle for Lip is he's very bright and he knows it. I think Lip is constantly um, trying to figure out the new avenue. I, I think of Lip's mind as water running downhill. If you put an obstacle in front of it, it immediately breaks out and goes another direction. And so what we're seeing is somebody who's very bright and um, the people around him, uh, not his immediate family members, but the other people in his life who are saying, you could do all these other things. And he's saying, what if I don't want to do all those other things? What if I'm kind of happy doing what I'm doing? And that I sort of look at the people who you want me to idolize, and I don't think that much of them. I'm placing a call to social services. We have all of these sort of rigid standards, and Steve is someone who's trying to kind of slip between the lines and sort of say things and do things that we all think, but don't do it. Realistically, if your kid's in trouble, if you could just give the assistant principal a bag of weed, wouldn't that be a good idea? One of the things we're really trying to highlight on the show is that there are a lot of different definitions of family. This kind of a show can, I think, highlight how you form family out of all different kinds of things and under different kind of circumstances. And these people love each other in many ways more than the happiest family because what they've survived together and they've grown strong together in these very difficult circumstances. So rather than the mother leaving and the dad being a drunk and completely irresponsible, driving them apart, it's actually driven them together. Mm -hmm.